YouTube, it's Lena, and I'm here today with the Perfect Palette 2 tag. I did the first one ages and ages ago. If I can find it, I, could, I will link it down below. But, oh my god, that thing was many, many moons ago. So, um, I'm trying to remember the... I Love Faces created this tag with her daughter. She created the first one too, but apparently people have been clamoring for a sequel, so they created one. And let's get started. I will make sure to link her video and the questions down, not link the questions, but put the questions down below as well. But the first question is eyeliner, brush, or nothing? And I would prefer a brush. I mean, I can always use a brush. Most brushes that I've gotten, at least with high-end palettes, have been, you know, good and usable. You know, some of the drugstore ones have been crappy, so in that case, I would rather nothing. But high-end, I would rather a brush because I have so many sneaking eyeliners and yeah the eyeliners that come with like you know the urban decay palette and some of the other ones are still pretty are still really good i actually like the I, the urban decay eyeliners in particular but i just have so many and you could never have too many brushes well i guess you can but it helps me put off washing brushes for longer so i like getting them let's see next palette you have hit pan on of course you guys know i am panning the Lorac pro but I actually have a different palette that I don't think I've ever actually shown. I mean, it's nothing, it's my original Naked One palette from Urban Decay. And I've hit pan on Creep. I don't know how well you can see that. But I also finished Sin and I hit pan on Virgin. So I figured I would get a different one out for you guys so that you could see that I do occasionally work on other palettes as well. This I was actually working on in 2014 when I was trying to pan the Color Mates palette and I was using my Urban Decay Naked palette as a companion palette. See, when I flick it in certain lights, I could definitely see the teeny tiny speck of pan on Creep, but you know, it's kind of hard to maneuver it properly. Plus, I had to depot it, so let's see. Next, favorite holiday or limited edition palette? I don't know, maybe it's just because it's new to me right now and I'm still just very much in love with it. But I picked the Mi Vida Loca palette by Kat Von D. I mean, this packaging kind of annoys me. But the colors in it are absolutely stunning. And I love it. And I wish it was permanent so that everybody who wanted it could get it. I mean, I get the packaging. It's supposed to be like a, an LP or a record. But, you know, this is really easy to drop. I wish there was at least like, you know, a ribbon or a clasp or something. But whatever. Next is a palette you would repurchase or wish you had a backup of. It is no longer available. Uh, I decided to pick one I could repurchase, and I picked the Urban Decay Electric palette. I mean, I haven't hit pan or anything on any of them yet, but it's just a palette that I do really, really enjoy. I'm trying to hit pan on Freak right now. I'm actually technically supposed to be trying to hit pan on every shade this year. We'll see how that goes, but... I do really love it. And I, anybody that likes color, I recommend that they get that. Next is a shade you wish was sold individually. I can't show it to you because I used it all up. So my Lorac Pro and it is the shade Garnet. I will try to insert a picture as well, but I'm sure you can see a little bit of it. Let's see. But yeah, Garnet is definitely a shade that I wish was sold individually that I could get my hands on because Obviously, I used it up and I loved it. It was one of my, it was my favorite shade out of the Lorac Pro, so. Next is Wild Card, which is pick a question from the old one. And it is, the question I picked was your biggest regrets. And I hate saying this because I love these, but it's the Vice 4 palette. And I know what sucked me in. What sucked me in is the freaking packaging. It's, it's gorgeous and every one of them is apparently a little bit different, like some show more green, some show more blue. I got a more purpley one. <sighs> but it's not that these colors aren't beautiful. It's just that, you know, I have every one of these colors in my collection. I know I do because I have 8,000 pans of shadow, I'm sure. And I like that these palettes come with a good large mirror. I would show it to you, but I would blind you half to death. You know, I got sucked in by the packaging. I know I did. And I don't want to sell it because I still like it. And I think I think it's even still for sale right now. I think it's on the sale website of some of like Urban Decay and whatnot. So I probably won't ever sell it. I do like it. I just, I know I could have duped every shadow of this. And it was $60 that I didn't need to spend. 
Holiday editions, man. Holiday editions, they suck me in. Uh, anyways, lastly, oh wait, I skipped a question. There was a thir number three question that is your favorite naked palette. And I actually, either one of these will do, but either the naked three, these are just, you know, it hasn't gotten much love because I've been, my God. Sh shit. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I don't know where these go! Ugh. That's embarrassing. Anyways, I would say the, the Naked 3, I can't show it to you because it's trying to collapse out of itself. I do like really pinky shades. As far as a neutral is concerned. I also picked out the Revealed 2. I use them when I do get to use them kind of interchangeably. I guess I like the Revealed 2 a little bit more because A, it's cheaper, and B, it comes with more shades. Of course, my Revealed 2 also has a loose shadow if you saw my Valentine's Day tutorial. So I get to spend some time with some super glue once I'm done filming this video. <laughs> I will say, we all know that Urban Decay shadows are powdery. These are super powdery too, so you're, that's not something you're going to get any better with one or the other. Now, finally, the palette you would recommend to a friend. Uh, depending on their tastes, I would either recommend the Lorac Pro because as sick of it as I am, it is a good neutral palette. I guess I'll insert a picture of it so that you can see what it's supposed to look like. Mine is, you know, very panned. I could have easily have said this for a palette I have hit pan on. I just wanted to show you guys something different. But it is a good neutral palette that I think would work for most skin tones. I really love the Lorac Pro 2, but it has some pops of color that some people are not as comfortable with. If they're willing to go a little on the pinker side, I would also recommend the Urban Naked 3 from Urban Decay. And that is it. So thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry for swearing on you, but uh, I wasn't expecting my Naked 3 to freaking fall apart on me. But I get, like I said, I guess I get to spend some time with super glue. But thank you for tuning in. As always, I really appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you later. Bye.